We, about a year ago, my mother-in-law was, uh, we were taking our daughter to college and we were out of state and my mother-in-law fell and she spent the night on the floor. And when we couldn't get a hold of her by telephone, we sent the police over to her house whereupon they found her on the floor and transported her to the hospital. And my wife said, well, you know, if you're not going to have your phone in your pocket or one of those little buttons I've fallen and I can't get up, um, going to get you an Apple watch, mom. So we gave her an Apple watch and she pretty quickly took to it, answering the telephone on it, all kinds of different things. And I was uh, surprised to see that my wife had done this. The other night we, uh, we had just settled into bed and my wife got a note on her telephone that said, your mother has fallen and emergency services have been called. So my wife called her mother and she didn't answer. So she hung up and called back. And this time she did answer on her watch. And she said, yeah, I'm, I've, I'm in the garage. I've fallen on the floor and, and I can't get up. And she's like, well, the ambulance has already been called. She goes, I don't need an ambulance. I just, you know, need, need you to come help me up. So, uh, she, well, the ambulance is on the way, mom, they're going to help you up. And she goes, well, they can't get in because the door is locked upon hearing this, but before, before anything else, I'm already dressed and out the door, headed over there to get the door open because we have keys. We can get in. Uh, I called 911 and said, I'm on my way. Tell EMTs to, you know, she's alert, she's conscious, and we're on the way and I'll open the door. I'll be there in eight to 10 minutes at the most. And so they were standing around when I got there and opened the garage door. Wow. Um, she had indeed fallen and was uh, able to break her fall with her nose and her forehead. Uh, so it, it, it's bad. She's still in the hospital. Um, oh, man. But she's she's going to recover. Had she not had that watch on, she would have spent another. And we had no reason to call her because we had talked to her earlier that day. It would have been a long time, and possibly hypothermia would have set in on a concrete garage floor uh, in her in her late seventies. It would have not ended well at all. So wow. this this saved her life, and having it notify somebody else made it even more. Uh, Expe expeditious that EMTs were able to get to her. And well, and they, and they didn't have to break down her door right. to do so. Like, like that, having that conversation with her allowed you to set their expectations. Right. That, that she's alert. She's not, you know, yeah. she's not completely unconscious. You know, you don't have to bust in, you know, we'll be right there. And, uh, uh, but well, how do you do that though? Right. So it turns out that my wife had set it up properly and i I didn't even realize this had to be done, but you go into the watch app on your iPhone Yep. and under emergency SOS, you designate emergency contacts. So not only does it call 911, it sends a text to your emergency contacts, contacts that says so-and-so has fallen. Emergency services has Amazing. been called. So that got us involved right away and allowed us to help expedite the yeah uh, you didn't have to get a call from the emts after they had broken her door down yeah, or yeah. going we can't get in or you know yeah sure so so yeah so if if you have an apple watch and an, and an iphone um go into watch emergency sos and and designate some contacts uh i have my daughter and my wife both because you know i've got separate people in separate areas as emergency contacts in the event i fall and need help then yeah you know they can right active yeah that's really, I, yeah, I got to do that on mine. I had no idea that that was even a thing. So I am, yeah. I, I am glad to be able to take a positive lesson from this and share it. And yeah. I, I hope everything works out with her too. Yeah, so do I. It's uh, like I say, she's still in. She's going to have to go to rehab. She broke her shoulder, her nose, oh. her eye is swollen shut. It, it's bad. It was. Oh really man. Bad. But um, um, I'm sorry, Pete. Yeah, thank you. Um, she's she's a tough bird, and she's going to get through it. But she's she's a miserable bird right now. So I can imagine I'd be miserable yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's expected. That's okay. Yeah. yeah.